Eve here and today I decided to do this Halloween Midnight Mermaid makeup look. So for this makeup look I actually wanted to give a big thank you shout out to Allison Henry and Wet n Wild Company because of Allison and Wet n Wild I was actually able to win a giveaway in which I won the entire Wet n Wild Midnight Mermaid collection and that is how I got the inspiration to create this look in the first place. A lot of the products that you see on my face are actually Wet n Wild, specifically from the Midnight Mermaid collection. I think it turned out really, really cool. And if you wanna see how I got this makeup look, go ahead and keep on watching. Let's go. All right guys, so I'm going to start off by priming my eyes using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Fix. And then I'm blending it in with my Beauty Blender just because I find it a bit more gentle. And then to set our eyelids, you could use any shade you want. I'm using a matte white shade. This is one of the shades I'm trying to pan. But you could use any sort of light shade. You could use a bone shade, anything you're comfortable with. And then we're going to head into the Jaclyn Hill palette. So the first shade I'm taking is the shade called Silk Cream and I'm putting that right in my crease just to kind of start off with the transition color. I always start off with the transition color. It's the best way to create a seamless blend. And then I'm taking some translucent powder and stamping the corners of my eyes just to help kind of lift that shape for myself. And then heading into the shade Jada, we're going to put that on our outer corners and kind of in the crease as well, blending it into that crease color. Where it blends into the crease color, it is going to turn into kind of a green shade and that is A-OK. -okay. That still works for this look, so don't worry about that. Making sure that we bring it up pretty high actually and I want it to kind of wing out at the end. And then heading into the shade Enchanted. It's a dark forest green color. We're taking that on a smaller blending brush and putting that into the outer V. Just darkening up, deepening up that outer corner and we're putting it a little bit into the crease as well. Not too much, not too dramatic, just to give it a little bit more depth. All right, and then going back in with Jada just to kind of blend that all out, making sure that there aren't any harsh lines. All right, and then we're picking up the shade Diva, and we're actually going to cover those outer corners with Diva just to make it a little bit more sparkly. I love this shade. It's kind of like a sparkly olive green tone. The way we're using it here is more of a shadow topper than an actual fully pigmented shadow. And then doing some reverse blending, as I call it, going back in with Silk Cream just at the edges in the crease, bringing it up pretty high towards the eyebrows, actually. And then we are grabbing the... Wet n Wild Color Icon Metallic Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Aquatic Prism. It's kind of like a dark blue metallic color. It's really pretty. These shades are really hard to blend, so they're perfect for cut creases. They're not very good for like halo eyes or anything like that. But for doing cut creases like this or for putting it all over your eyelids, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then I'm going back over the edges once again with the shade Diva, just to kind of blend everything together. And that's kind of where that shimmer shade will help us out a little bit as well, blending the shimmers with the shimmers. Then grabbing my Mega Liner Metallic Eyeliner by Wet n Wild in the shade Sea Dreams, we're going to do a quick winged eyeliner. I'm making it pretty thin. I'm not going too dramatic with this. You can go more dramatic if you want to. This is just how I prefer my eyeliner. Also, freehanding liquid eyeliner is terrifying, so if I do it thin, I'm less likely to make a mistake. Alright, and now that I have my base on, we're going to grab the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula and putting that where I would normally bronze or contour my face. So I'm putting that in the hollows of my cheeks and around my forehead. Contour my nose with the same bronzer. And if my eyebrows look a little scary, that's because I put a little bit of foundation over them just because we're doing stuff with the eyebrows later. And then for the lower lash line, I'm first going in with the shade Enchanted just to kind of line that. I'm not going all the way into the inner corners. I'm keeping it on the outer edges. And then I'm, and then I'm taking the shade Diva and I'm just going to smoke out that color just so that the under eye is a little bit more smoky. All right, and then to further contour the face, I'm first grabbing the shade Pool Party from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And I'm putting that anywhere where I would normally contour and anywhere where I would normally bronze, honestly. 
So I wanted to lay down the original bronzer first just to give my face a little bit more warmth because going in with all these cool colors, you can end up making yourself look pretty dead. And I didn't necessarily want to look dead, just a little bit more under the sea. And then grabbing the shade Twerk from the Jaclyn Hill palette, we're going to put that where I would contour. So I'm really focusing it in the hollows of my cheeks and then I'm putting it a little bit onto my temples just to create some sort of continuity. And I'm putting it on the edge of my chin. All right, so taking the mini mouse ears off and putting on the fishnet stockings. Then I'm taking my Color Icon Metallic Liquid Eyeshadow in the shades Aquatic Prism and Laura's Necklace. And I'm just kind of dabbing that in random places wherever I put the bronzer and contour. This is going to create the illusion of really shiny fish scales and that's why I kind of want to make the colors go back and forth rather than having it all be one color or having it be any specific pattern. None of this really has to be precise, just kind of place it where you feel. Make sure you, that you do bring it pretty close to the hairline, otherwise it looks kind of incomplete. And then let it dry before you move on to the next side, otherwise the shifting of the fishnets might mess up the pattern a little bit. And then after you do the other side, you can go ahead and take off the fishnets and breathe again normally. And then you fix the foundation on your nose because usually the fishnet stockings, if you put it on like I did, kind of messes it up. And then I'm going over the edges with the shade Pool Party just to kind of create a continuity and try to help blend. Like I said earlier, you can't really blend these colors that well. Once it's on, it's on. But you can add a little bit more color on top of it just to help smooth it out, I guess is the right way to say it. And then I'm grabbing my Hourglass Ambient Blending Blush in the shade Mood Exposure and I'm putting that on the apples of my cheeks. The reason why I'm doing this after is because once again, it's kind of helping with the blending. All right, and then grabbing my Mermaid Highlighting Bar in the shade Midnight Moon, we're putting that anywhere where I would normally highlight. And I'm actually layering it on pretty heavy. It's pretty intense on its own. The camera's not really picking it up here. I love the weird iridescent greeny gold shade and I wanted to really make that pop just because I am a Midnight Mermaid and I wanna be as mermaidy as possible. It also looks really cool over the scales that we created. It like adds more dimension to it. Putting it on my Cupid's bow as well and on the bridge of my nose. And then I'm layering it pretty heavy into the inner corner just to kind of finish off that eye. And then to set my face, I'm taking my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray, putting that all over, locking in the makeup. And then to complete my eyebrows, I'm going to take my brow gel and brush all my brow hairs up. And then I'm going in with two Magaliner Metallic Eyeliners in the shade Sea Dreams and Sea Symmetry. And I'm taking the Sea Dream shade, that blue shade, and putting it towards the end of my brows and also lining the bottom half of that. And then with the Sea Symmetry, I'm focusing that towards the front more and kind of interspersing it in between the blue. That way it's a little bit more random. It looks a little bit more natural, I guess. Nothing about this is natural, but you get what I mean. And then highlighting under that with the Midnight Moon Highlighter just to complete that area. All right, and for the lips, I'm grabbing two different liquid cat suits and I'm creating kind of an ombre lip. So I'm starting out with the shade Sea Seduction first, lining my lips with that. I'm pulling it pretty far into the actual inner parts of my lips just so that everything blends. But then I'm taking that green shade, the Siren's Jewel shade, and focusing that on the center of my lips. And I'm rubbing my lips together just so that it blends. Because it is a liquid lipstick and it is hard to blend liquid lipsticks together. But I thought this kind of ombre lip was super cool. And then I'm curling my lashes to prep them for the mascara. And today's mascara I'm using the Wet n Wild Max Volume Mascara. This mascara isn't super volumizing or lengthening, however, it's perfect under fake lashes because it is fairly black. So I'm doing my upper lashes and my bottom lashes with that. It is very good at making your lashes really spiky. And then to finish off the look, I'm going to throw in some false lashes and we're done. Alright guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I actually think it turned out really, really good. 
I love all the blue tones and the sparkles and the iridescentness of it. It's definitely something that I would wear on Halloween even though it's not my costume for Halloween. But if you guys like this Halloween makeup look, give me a big thumbs up. There's a couple more on the way. Make sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.